People want to know that the role they play matters. And so everybody wants to be a part of something that's greater than themselves. And they want to know that they're a part of creating a compelling culture. For whatever it is they do, that they're a part of something and that they matter. The next step of our journey is going to require us to think about who we are going to be, how we're going to put that oxygen mask on every day, what are those steps we're going to take forward, and then are we going to choose to be a person of passion, or are we going to choose to be somebody who's merely interested? But what people are often experiencing is that we're distracted, which often becomes divided and sometimes disgruntled, which then can lead to being disconnected and disengaged. He said, where you look is where you go. And it's never been more important for us to think about what has to get our eyes, our focus, our attention, our heart today. So we do this work to engage the minds and hearts of people, to provide a different voice for what it means to practice authentic leadership in the world today. Culture is not an add-on. It's everything. It's everything in any successful entity, not just what you do, but how you do it. We got to know that we can count on you to own it. Not rent it, not think it's kind of a good idea every once in a while. We got to know that you're going to own it because we are all ambassadors of our culture. So the outcomes are greater alignment of human being, greater alignment of vision of where you're trying to go, and a commitment to actions that actually stimulate progress. And so culture is dynamic. It's changing moment by moment every day by the way we think, act, and interact. And the question isn't, is it changing? Because it is. The question is, do you and do we want to play any role in defining what it becomes.